Welcome to Stitchy Fix. I'm Victoria. And I'm her mom, Chris. And this is a channel where we talk about cross stitch. And tis the season to watch a whip parade. <laughs> this is my 2023 whip parade um, of all the things that I have working in progress. I thankfully finished four pieces that I'm not bringing with me into the new year. Um, so if you haven't Hmm. If you haven't watched our latest regular floss tube, you can go there and see like 10 finishes. We had like nine, mm -hmm. nine finishes at the very end of the year. Um, and some of those are mine, which is shocking. <laughs> but um, I'm here to show you uh, some of the things that I still have in progress and I'm bringing with me into 2024. Um, and I'm excited to show you. So I'm kind of going well, in. Then it. <laughs> I'm kind of going in reverse order. Oh, also, if you have not seen um, Chris's whip parade, it's in two parts. So that's how many whips she has compared to me. And she is incredible. So you'll have to go check that out. Okay, the first is what I got for Christmas. So mom did a advent box for me from the blue flower. This is Mary Meerkat's holiday card 2023. I just love them so much and I started it yesterday so I guess it's kind of like a 2024 start but it is now a whip it's a whip when you're filming yes and I got the first meerkat done and this is the hat of the second meerkat oh he's so cute Ooh. I decided she's a girl because she has purple earmuffs that's what I, I love picked it. that's a good idea so then I also had a Christmas start. Uh, we've been talking about this for a while. We love Shannon Christine Designs. This is Sugar Plum Village. It's gorgeous. It will definitely be one of the bigger pieces I have attempted. I have maybe like five this size. And I wanted to get all of the floss in because I just love the colors. Mm -hmm. And Sheena Christina is known for like changing her colors a lot. This only has six colors. So uh, this is my start. It's a center start. It is a center start. So this is the gazebo. Yeah. And I got all the colors in except white. Because who wants to stitch white? And this is on a 16 count fiber on a whim milk and honey. Yeah. So that was my Christmas day start. And then I got sick over break. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of stitching. Um, this is Silver Creek Samplers. I have been working on this for two years, maybe three. Um, it's huge and I am in the middle. So I have a first page finish and then I was just moving down. Oh, I forgot to take it out of the clips for you to see how far I've made it. Um, Chris got me Wonder Clips for Christmas, which on a big piece like this, it, it helps. makes a yeah. huge difference. Um, and then I've been using a nerd hoop on this because it's bigger too. I typically stitch an attention ring, but um, that has been very beneficial. So this is where I'm at as of January 2024. January 6, 2024. Yes. So quite a bit's done. It's on a 14 count stream by Picture This Plus. Um, and I love it. It's really fun because you just get like little finish, little finish, little it finish. Keeps the momentum going. Right? It does. And I just made one color change. So every other brown, I do a white. So whatever letters here are next will be a white lettering. All right. That's number three, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. And then this is Religious Christmas Trio. I will do all three of these eventually by Primrose Cottage. Um, and this is where I'm at with Come Let Us Adore Him. It's on like a sparkly, shiny gold filament um, fabric, which is so pretty. So that's where I'm at with this one. Very pretty. And then that's yep. number four. Uh, another Christmas start I started this year, even though Chris gave this to me two years ago. Yeah. Uh, this is a hands-on design, Snow Much Fun, A Banner Year. And I just love it for January. I don't have a ton of winter decorations, but um, this is on another sparkly piece. 
I'm doing the last Winter banner. Sparkly snow. Yes, we had a snowy, snowy day the last two days. So the girls finally got to play in the snow for the first time. I actually think that is Maisie's first time ever playing in snow. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had it for a year. So. Yeah. Um, next up is something I got in the Nice Box by Ardith Designs. This is Sugar and Spice and Everything Nice. And this is on a 28 count. Um, oh, I love this fabric. Mm -hmm. It's like splatter white dots. And that's my start. I typically stitch on Ada, but 28 count this fabric is just dreamy. Nice. Right. Okay, the next piece is one I've wanted to stitch for a very long time. <laughs> um, let's see if I can kind of cover up some of the pattern. So when it's done, this is from a 2019 Cross Stitcher magazine. I believe it's the January edition. And this is what it will look like when it's done. So it's a big one. But I just love it for my girls, and I have some ideas on how I'd want to finish it. So I started a center start, and this is on a blue sparkly 14 count Ada. And there's Santa. He's got such a sweet face. He does. So I was so on a roll um, with like the first page of Santa that I should have just kept going, but I did put it away. And that just slows my, like whenever doing confetti, that really like slows me down. Um, and then we go to Stitch West in um, Salt Lake City. And they're doing a stitch along from October to October. This is Jardin Privé, a field de nechois. These little bird houses. And I've got a pretty good start. Yes, you really do. Uh, starting in the left. And I've got like pretty much the whole first block done. Um, like first birdhouse. There's 12. It like is to show all the seasons of the year, all the months. So there's my little guy. He's so sweet. I just haven't done the back stitching, but I got like my flower in and the tree. And then started over on the next pair of birds. This Lovely. is on 16 count. Mm -hmm. Grace Note Fabrics Ada. Colleen. Colleen, yeah, I think it's the name. And then my very good friend Stephanie, she's from um, Just Keep Stitching. We all talk every day, but um, I mean, Kev from Stung Harbor Crafts, Steph from Just Keep Stitching, and us. We talk every day, and we had a stitch along last year, so um, she lovingly kitted up this next piece, which is the ice cream shop, which is so sweet. So I started this our next year at Stitch West, and I made a little bit more progress on it. Very nice. That's a lot of progress. You so I'm up there. color completing on this one, because it's pretty small, but it's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna have a whole little village. That's mm -hmm. a Little House Needleworks hol Hometown, Hometown Holidays. Holidays. Yeah. Uh, this is another, I don't know, is this a Christmas or a birthday present for me? So this is Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, so afternoon in Rome. I'm sorry, it's not focusing. There we go. And I actually have the full length stitched because I wanted to make sure <laughs> I had enough. I do have enough. That's good. It's beautiful. Uh, this floss, I, it's so dreamy. Like both of those colors are just so perfect. I think this is on an 18 count. Maybe 16, Ada. But you're using all the, the call all the for call fans. For, yeah. Classes. All the call for. So love that. Uh, this is a Stitch Mania started, I don't know when I did it, 2021 maybe? 2020 maybe? No, I think I have a floss too. I don't know when I did this. This is uh, Nikki Patterns from Etsy, Little Baby Girl Goo. And I'm stitching this on a Fortnite fabrics, maybe. This is a 14 count over dyed Ada. And there's little Grogu. Very cute. Just a little tiny start on him. It's uh, actually 16. You think 16? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And then this is an Etsy pattern that my mom got for me. I started during Stitch Mania. I love Marie from the Aristocats. But I don't she's love got her little princesses. The fabric. So the pink just is not showing. So mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go white on this or something a little bit lighter. It just like kind of clashes. So this is one that I do need to restart, but I'm not, I love the pattern. So I want to do the pattern for some different fabric. Um, I was pulling this out. I was like, this is Miami. <laughs> this is counting puddles. Um, watermelon crawl. I'm obsessed with this. This was my vacation start. My husband and I went to Miami. And I just got a quick little start. I'm not even sure That's if I'm going to show you this the right way, but um, it's like oh, all it's flowers, yeah. quilted inside of the watermelon. Like it's Here, patterned. It's next to it. I can see the pattern. Here. Let me show the pattern like this first. <laughs> you can see, like, can you see the. There's like the detailing swirls, inside of it. The dark. Yeah, very detailed, very cute. So yeah, that gives you an idea where you are. Got to start on it. Center start on that. But I love this. This is on a 14 count Ada from someone. Urban Fiberco. Maybe. Because it was our, one of our monthly. Okay. Clubs. This next one I can't show you um, the pattern because I don't have it printed. I just stitched this from my phone. This is Chris's birthday, Christmas, anniversary, birthday, Christmas, anniversary. Whenever I finish it, <laughs> I will give it to Chris. Um, this is Mary Poppins Jolly Holiday from Abby Sue Designs. It's a lot of white. <laughs> it looks pretty. It will be very pretty when I'm done. On a 14 count blue Eda. Um, then this was a uh, vacation start, Country Cottage Needleworks June Sampler for the Sampler of the Month. Uh, this would be 2021. Mm -hmm. I haven't stitched on it since. <laughs> Maybe I'll stitch vacation on it this June. Yeah. Um, just have a little yellow house and two little lemons. So, again, that's on an Ada. And then this is Magical Swamp by Stitchy Princess Black. She is a designer from the Ukraine. You can find her on Etsy. And it's like Princess and the Frog, so that's why I picked it. And this is on a sparkly green. Pretty. It looks pretty on that one. Yeah. Um, I mean, technically it's this guy. So there's like a cloud. I was worried you can't really see that cloud and this is the sun. So it's just a little start. Haven't stitched on that in a while, but I still want to stitch on that. And then in honor of my grandmother who passed away, Chris's mom, this is Shannon Christine design called My Sunshine. I sing this to my girls. Grandma loved flowers. Just felt right. So you are my sunshine and I have a, I have a sunflower. Almost done. It needs Yay. one more green. And this is on a Fortnite Fabrics, I think. Maybe a 16. I think it's a 16. Fortnite 16. Yep. Color blush. Blush. There's my little sunflower. No. Plush. Plush. P-L. P-L. All right. Then this I can't even show you either, but um, we started... Fab 50, Abby Sue Designs came out with the 50 gold statues for the 50th anniversary of Disney. Um, and there it is, one box. There's nothing to show, nothing to see here, folks. Uh, and they're just half stitched and every 10 I cross it. So that's it's where that start. one's at. It's a start. It's a center start. I decided I'm not going to do the whole piece. I'm just going to like pick and choose and then make them into ornaments. So that's the plan there. This one is almost done. This is now, after I finished my wedding sampler, this is now my oldest whip, if you can believe it. <laughs> um, so this is um, Happy Halloween Quintet by Ursula Michaels. I love this. You can see how much backstitching is in there. 
So all of my X's are done. All of them. It's Beautiful. just the back stitching. Pretty close, Victoria. I don't know. I, I know. think it's gonna pull that out and say, gotta do it, gotta do it. Yeah, so everything is done like here down. I'm just like working my way over. <laughs> this is for Chris. This was back 2016, maybe, when we only, we didn't know cross-stitch shops existed. Right, we just did the kits. We did the kits. Okay, this is another one I can't show you because it was a stitch along. Um, this is hands-on design costume party, which I actually really love. I would love to get back to this. And this is where I'm at. So I finished part one and I started part two. And there's three parts, I think, on that one. Mm -hmm. So two parts away. But it's so beautiful. I love everything Kathy does. Everything. Um, and then this is a big one. This is a free pattern. Or it was free by Cunningham Cross Stitch. Cunning Cross Stitch. And this is Letters to Hogwarts. So it's kind of a stitch your own adventure, and I started my project wrong. <laughs> I don't have enough space, so I'm only doing the first three letters. <laughs> but I adjusted the castle, that's a different castle. I picked my wand so it looks like a pencil, because I'm a teacher, and then I put Hedwig over here. I changed that, and then this owl was called for. And then I'm stitching a sorting hat down there, not that you can tell. Uh, and that was not called for, that's an addition. So I love this fabric. It's a 14 count, something it's over dyed. It's really nice modeling. It's yeah. got blues and grays and browns in it. Yes, okay, and then I'm doing the Black Needle Society. Um, Frog ward, sorry, I'm like reading the numbers. So I have one, two, three, and four. So this is number one. I think that must be my number two downstairs. It must be. Yeah. No, it's okay. So here's, uh, this is by Black Window Society. They do like a virtual stitch along. Here's number one. And here's my start. <clears throat> Not much to speak of, but Alohomora. Actually, I love that color. Mm -hmm. And then I did number two. Which you don't have the charts downstairs. Which I don't have the chart, because I probably was to... This one I have the most progress on. Um, so this is number two. And I'm stitching them all separate. But that's my progress. As of 2024, <laughs> and there's number three. And I'm stitching them all in the same fabric, which is, what do you think? Oh, I forget because it wasn't country mocha. It's nope. something lighter than that that we decided. It's like parchment? Yeah, it's 16 count. Yeah. So here's number three, and I just have the night bus up here. Started. Love it. And then number four was this past summer. And all I have started, you can see there's that big green maze in the background. So that's what I started. And I did a center start, I think. You did a center start. That's interesting. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's at the top. I think that's upside down. Right. I think, <laughs> I the, dra like, I think that's the dragon. Again. Yeah, exactly. Top center. So, yeah, it looks good. And no, what, it, it's hard because it's hard to figure out where you are. Yeah, until you get more in. Okay, yep. beautiful job. That's all my whips. Wow. I think it's 25. Nice. 25 whips. Yeah. So honestly, cool. I could really do whip go. If I, you know what I mean? Like two yeah. a month. I really could do whip go. You could. But I cannot commit to anything because I have too much in my life, which I'm all, always grateful for. Yes, but um, as we always say, I hope you enjoyed this. If you are new here and would like to see, you know, tons more cross-stitch, let us know. Let us know and subscribe and let us know you're here. 
And as we always say, we hope you stitch as much as you want or as little as you want. And we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.